Our next interview, we want to say good morning to Angie and Ryan. Good morning, Angie. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> Well, thank you guys for coming to see us. Uh, Angie, Angie, where are you guys from? We are from the Kelowna area, so not very far away. Well, that's good. Yeah. Now, you were telling me all about some of the issues that Ryan had right away when he was born. But I have a Star Wars birthday. Oh, he wanted to tell everyone about his Star Wars birthday party. Oh, a Star Wars birthday. <laughs> I got whopping with Batman with the big Batman coat and do with big two and do clip fit. Wow, oh my that's amazing! And Batman and Portugal with the tailing wheel because Wally did not know how to drive. <laughs> you know, that's the worst thing about sidekicks. They don't know how to drive sometimes. It's really frustrating. Well, Ryan, and Wally has a motorcycle and a helicopter. Whoa! We didn't know if Ryan was going to talk to us, but he's very eager now. <laughs> Put a mic in his hand and he's ready to go. Ready to go. Well, hey, I'll tell you what. We'll talk all about Batman and Robin here. Do you want to let mom talk a little bit too? <laughs> he does not want to let go of that microphone. <laughs> so, Ryan, let's tell them a little bit about what it's like to be you, should we? So, this, Ryan Ryan was born about six weeks early, um, and he had a pretty rough first year, um, but... He um, he was hospitalized with RSV. Um, he had a couple other issues, and at one, at 14 months, he had his tonsils taken out. Um, we found out they were causing sleep apnea, which is why he wasn't sleeping. We didn't realize. So he was sleeping. Um, he would only sleep for about an hour at a time at the most. Wow. Um, and he ate like every 45 to 90 minutes around the clock. So we didn't really sleep very much for the first 14 months. And he wasn't really developing like a normal child would, you know, he was in like survival mode. Um, so he, after his tonsils were out, it changed his life. It to he had, he started talking, he started eating. Um, but then um, close to about six months later, he quit reaching some of his verbal milestones. Um, he was tested several times for autism spectrum disorder but they decided that that's not what it was so right now his diagnosis is childhood apraxia of speech um, so that's a neurological disorder it means his mouth can't quite communicate with his brain okay. um, so he's doing speech therapy and um, it's something he'll have for the rest of his life. He won't grow out of it, but um, he's doing really, really well. The, the school district that we go to, the Mid Prairie School District, um, is an amazing district. They have great teachers there that work with him. So he's been in school since he was three. Wow. Which wow. is unfortunate. <laughs> Poor kid. Um, <laughs> so, um, but yeah, he's doing much better. And he's um, he does have some sensory processing issues. He can't eat a lot of food. So he eats like crackers and fruit mainly because he can't chew. Mm -hmm. So. So you guys yeah. have spent quite some time in the, in the children's hospital yes. then. Yeah. What's um, your favorite thing about the new hospital? Do you have a favorite part of the hospital? But I got a dog with walkie talkie. Right. <laughs> That's my favorite part of this interview so far. Do they do they have those here at the hospital? <laughs> we actually, um, I have it. This is our time here. Oh, that's um, awesome. I, and I like go to I got. Hey, listen, you had me at Star Wars Walkie Talkie. <laughs> Once again, 1 800 456 2772. Figures. Star Wars figures. Yes. Wow, that's cool. Ryan and I have a lot to talk about. No, after you really do. Because yeah. I'm a huge Star Wars guy, too. We. This is our first time here, and I'm, I'm really impressed with this hospital. It's beautiful. I, In all honesty, I never wanted to step foot in here. Mm -hmm. I didn't look at the pictures. I just don't want to be. Yeah. yeah. When he was two, he knew where every fish tank and every dollhouse was in this hospital. And that's when you know you've been coming here too much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So sorry. That's okay. I knew I was going to cry. I told my friends I'm going to own it right now. Oh, no, absolutely. <laughs> but, um, so I've been putting off coming here because it's, you don't always get to come here for fun things like this. Usually when you come here, it's for scary things. So it's beautiful. It's well, a beautiful place. I thought you summed it up well when you said, you know, Ryan's one of those kids that was seen here and is seen here for things other than childhood cancer and diseases, you know. Uh, sometimes my birthday I got the bath, I go call it Batman. Sometimes it's just you just want to talk about Batman. And I don't blame him.
Well, thank you guys for coming in today. We're glad you're here at our hospital for, for amazing reasons. Once again, 1-800-456-2772. Hi, this is Angie. My k miracle child is Ryan. Please call to donate now, 800-456-2772. Thanks. R Ryan, can you hang out a while and we'll talk Batman and Star Wars? Is that cool? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I yeah. love my... You can hear we have, we have a lot to talk about. <laughs> a lot to catch up. The conversation never ends. Once again, 1-800-456-2772. We want to get 20 pledges called in here this hour. We have a, a goal. We think that's very attainable. 20 pledges called in before 9. Be one of those... 20 people to call in this morning a pledge 1-800-456-2772 do it for kids like ryan and adam yep we've had some a lot of fun with some pretty cool kids this morning we want you to be a part of it as well and you can by calling in your pledge this morning 800-456-2772 it's brandon Cortland live at the university of iowa stead family children's hospital we're khk